Oh, it's a good day. So anyway, guys, it's been a long time since I posted anything on the hatch. Um, it's not done, but gonna make a lot of progress today on uh, tidying some things up with it. Um, I'm gonna drop some clips before I jump into what I'm gonna do today with the hatch. Um, it's gonna show you guys kind of some of the uh, obstacles I had to go through to get this thing running. Um, it was, it was, whoa, whoa. it was a pain in the ass. Uh, so many different things like kind of hung me up on it and uh, yeah, it was just overall pain. And uh, it's kind of weird. I, I, I don't really have experience piston slap too much, but with this big high compression bottom end, uh, I actually get a lot of piston slap until it starts up. Like when it warms up, it was loud. When it warms up, the piston slap completely goes away. But when it's cold and the piston hasn't expanded in full oil, it actually has like a like a light tap to it, almost like a lifter tick. But as soon as it's warmed up, it goes away. Engine builder said it was the same thing. So, I mean, that's just what I have to assume it is. So anyway, I'm gonna drop some clips and then I'm gonna jump into what we're gonna get into today. So guys, this has been a journey and uh, yeah, show you guys what it's about. Make all right guys this whole battery setup's jank as hell but i'm just seeing if it'll start we've been priming the fuel pump it has five quarts of brad pin in it this will be the first time this car started in like three years so if it knocks at least i'll get it on video and fucking cry no crank, no crank. so your clutch work? yeah needs clutch Might need grounded too.
right, guys. So I'm moving right along. You can see my fuel lines are in there. Um, I unhooked it. Um, this is why I wanted to replace the wiring harness. So this is a fuel hat. When you guys run JB tuned uh, fuel line tuck kit, you have to drill these and step bit them, which my buddy did for me. Um, and then you'll run your AN lines, your return and feedback here. But I wanted to replace this because you guys see that wire connector right there? Obviously, soaked in fuel, a wire connector is not safe. This was just to see if the car would start. So I bought a brand new Walboro pump harness. So let me go ahead and get that yeah, on. So before this goes back in and I pretty much finish up with today's video, just wanted to show you guys like how the pump looks. So the reason I wanted to replace the wiring harness again, you can kind of see when it's out. I mean, the gauge wire is different, like I said. So order a new one, make sure it's all safe. Gonna go get this wired up and get this in the car. Um, I'm gonna get this wired up in the car, finish up. Um, I This is pretty much gonna conclude today's video. This will be episode six of the hatch build. Um, went from pretty much not having a emitter from episode one. You guys can watch back. I think it took me like maybe a month um to get it pretty much all together took a little bit of a break started working on the truck a little bit and kind of got sidetracked but i'm back on the hatch now um, i'm trying to finish it up i want it it's it's moving i can drive it anywhere now but need to go over the brakes again need to bleed the clutch again need to bolt the front suspension in a little bit tighter i'm getting a knocking noise somewhere and uh yeah just tidy up the interior get the wiring and stuff tucked away um i'm kind of just rambling at this point but guys Hatch is pretty much good to go now. So anyway, YouTube's doing great. Uh, view count's up. Everything's up. Subscriber count, view count, click, per, um, impression, all that stuff's up. So I don't know what it is, but, uh, you know, receiving a little bit of income, I don't care how much it is, receiving a little bit of income to do what you like to do is uh, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I ain't gonna lie. So I appreciate all you guys. Until next video, make sure you hit that like button, and I'll uh, see you guys next time.